Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Tech It Mission to Mars. This is going to be episode 9. And uh, as you can see, we've moved our quarry from its original location into uh, the base. And uh, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the zombie horde that awaits outside. Yes. Since we are currently clearing out this area and it's very dark, we're getting lots of monster spawns. There's so many of them. Uh, I don't, really don't know what to make of it. Uh, I kind of want this creeper to blow up. Uh, but <laughs> they just, you know, they can't get enough of me, I guess. You know, it's kind of like having my, my own uh, fans, you know. Anyway, as you can see, our quarry is digging away. Uh, we're going to clear this area down to the bedrock, and then we'll put a floor in, and this will uh, become our production area. We'll be importing lots of materials from uh, the next quarry, and then we're going to be setting up a pretty large factory in here. Uh, I think I'm going to jump in there and try to... I don't know. We'll, let's find out what happens. So let's just run down the edge. Looks like there was... I think there's a zombie spawner down here. That's probably what's causing the problem. We want to just get rid of this oil. So hopefully we can... Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many, bros. Did we get it? Did we get it? I think we got it. We got it. Oh, here we go, boys. We're going to fight him off. Uh, I died. Alright guys, so this quarry is now finished, and we are left with a giant underground hole. Let me turn this off really quick. Okay, and so what the plan is here is we have to punch a couple of holes um, up to the surface, and that's because at the bottom there you get that fog and it's really hard to see. If you notice, I got some light spots here. That's actually where I've punched a couple of holes just to test this idea. Um, and so. In order for that to basically go all the way to the bottom, we got to put glass there. Um, so I've decided just to go ahead and fill in this entire uh, top layer that you can see around kind of this perimeter with glass to make our, our base uh, layer that's going to house like all of our production machines, stuff like that. Next, I will put a layer about five or four blocks down. Uh, we'll use that to run um, either uh, transit um, transportation pipe, liquid pipe, uh, or more impor importantly, um, RF uh, conduit. And then for the bottom, for the very bottom, what I'm going to do is actually build a uh, big reactor using the big reactors mod. Uh, that's because uh, we're going to need a lot of RF to power a lot of these machines, and I just don't think that uh, the fuel is really worth it. Uh, we are going to have some auto crafting tables in here from the buildcraft mod, so we still will need buildcraft power, uh, and so we'll reserve the fuel for those types of things. For the time being, though, we are going to need a crap ton of sand to make the glass required for this, so I've actually moved the quarry yet again to go and mine some sand in the desert. Okay, so this isn't going to be a, a full quarry. It's just um, enough to get some sand here. So uh, once we do hit cobblestone, uh, we're probably just going to stop it and uh, pick it back up and, and uh, repurpose it somewhere else. But I did need a lot of sand, and short of mining it by hand, this quarry was free. So I decided, well, hell, let's just use the quarry. Alright guys, as you can see already, I've added a texture pack. Now the reason why I did this primarily is because I added a lot of glass to the uh, production area and I just really didn't like the vanilla glass texture. Um, so I just changed it up and you know, with that came like all these new textures so it's pretty cool. Um, I have definitely used uh, this texture pack before if you don't know what it is by just looking. It is the Pure BD Craft uh, Texture Pack by Spax, uh, and this one is specifically for this version of Tekkit, uh, being Tekkit 1.2.9. Uh, 
Um, and so without further ado, let me show you guys the production area that I've uh, now finished. Um, now, just there's no machines in here yet. Uh, we're going to get to that shortly. Um, but I've, I've put all glass in, mostly because I thought that'd be pretty cool to be able to kind of, so you can see all the wiring and stuff that's going on, um, getting the RF power, that's kind of what this bottom layer is for, uh, as well as any uh, transport or uh, liquid pipe that I'm going to need. Uh, if I need to go under, I will. Uh, and so I did install some lights, which look pretty cool. Um, and this definitely gives me plenty of light in here. It really looks kind of like a like a real uh, production facility. Um, so the next step is basically we are going to build a big reactor using the big reactors mod, and we're going to put it all the way down at the bottom down there, uh, and that'll give us plenty of room to scale up the reactor as needed uh, if we need to scale it up. I'm going to start with something that's pretty small. Uh, and as you can see, uh, there's definitely some void fog down here, and I've, I've done my best to kind of mitigate that um, by cutting some holes into the surface. It's not perfect, but uh, it definitely is better than being completely fogged out. Uh, since I had to cut these holes and we can't block uh, that path down to the bedrock, that's kind of what these columns are. Uh, they allow the light to go through. Uh, but also make sure that I don't place machines there. So this may pose some issues as far as running pipes, conduits, things like that, uh, placing machines. Um, we'll have to just work around it. That'll pose kind of like a, um, you know, just an extra level of difficulty for me. Uh, but I think it won't be too big of a deal. Um, and this, again, this is a pretty large area, so we should have plenty of room to build factories. Uh, initially, we're going to be getting our uh, processing up. Uh, which includes processing cobblestone, sand, gravel, um, dirt, uh, and then getting the ore processing set up. And then from there we'll be working on uh, getting some factories. But again, first we will be putting in this big reactor. Uh, we got to get the RF power required for the factory. Let's go ahead and start working on that. This is this is close enough <clears throat> to the center, so let's just start here.
All right, guys, so just put a little uh, set of stairs here to get up top. We're going to pour some water in here, um, see how that works for now. Alright guys, so we got some water in the reactor, um, I think this will work, um, if I didn't mention already, I've never used this mod before, so I'm kind of just winging it, uh, but I added some little stairs here, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and cap this off, alright, there we go, perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna leave this just for now, um, Let's see, let's do that. Looks like we filled it up. There we go. Energy buffer, ooh, stores 10 million RF. That's pretty good. Uh, let's fire it up, see what happens. Core heat is high as hell. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is gonna blow up or not. Fuel reactivity. About 14,000 per tick. That's, that's quite a bit. Alright guys, so that is going to conclude episode 9. When we come back, we're going to be hooking up uh, the redstone conduit and getting some machines in and hopefully starting some processing on some of the materials that we've got. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, I will be streaming on twitch.tv forward slash unix60959. Currently, there is no uh, stream schedule, but you can usually catch me uh, in the afternoons about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So thank you guys for checking out the video, and um, see you in the next one.